I want to change the topic here to some things that are going on actively uh, as we speak. Big news this week, obviously, is the NCAA football game. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, two of you guys are active current athletes. Me and Tangwall, unfortunately, are missing NCAA football, and we won't be on the game. But how do you guys feel, number one, about the game being released, being on the game, and then number two, with the $600 compensation? I'm out of the loop. What is the general consensus about that with active players? All right, so firstly, and I said this before on one of our first podcasts, get my rating right, (laughs) okay? And I don't mean (laughs) be fair. Make it accurate. What's an an accurate rating for you? Uh, Give me an estimate. You know what I say? When when you look at ratings, right, you just look at the skill and all. You know, they don't talk about intangibility in the ratings. (laughs) Factor that in. Factor in leadership. Factor in being a locker room guy. I'm in the high 80s. Now, from a play standpoint, it's not looking good for me. <laughs> not looking great. <laughs> you know what? As long as I'm above a 70, I'll be happy. You need 70s in this world, man. You need three-star recruits. You need guys like that to fill the roster. So do you think you will be above a 70? Where are we thinking you'll be at? If you had to put a number on it right now, a guess on camera, what would it be? Hey, give me a 76 overall. You think you're a 76? Man. Give me a 76 overall. But um, when you talk about like the actual compensation and like talking about giving us a free game and uh, $600, uh, when you look at like the grand scheme of all of college football, like all these FBS programs and everyone's getting six hundred dollars, um, everyone receiving the same thing. I mean, it seems fair to me um, mm-hmm. because at the end of the day, you're going to play the season. Following, if there's no NCAA game, you were still going to play the next year. You're basically getting paid to do nothing. You know what I mean? Like, sure, there's going to be other guys that their likeness is going to be factored into the game more, and they'll probably mm-hmm. be compensated differently than other guys. But for me, as an offensive lineman at Penn State University. Um, six hundred dollars is fine for me to literally be in a game. Just get my rating right. Yeah, I think we all grew up obviously wanting that again. It stopped yeah, in, in two thousand fourteen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But at the end of the day, I just think it's cool. It's something you're going to be able to show your kids. Yeah. And you know, six hundred dollars is obviously not a ton of money, but like like Doc just said, everybody's you're going to want that game anyway. You're getting it for free. Right. Everybody's going to be playing you're a bougie it. Yeah. Six hundred dollars a lot of money. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good shot. <laughs> well, okay. No, we're, listen, we're, polo pants. All right. We're with the off white. We're, we're, we're a lot of money. We're, we're talking big, guy, big big money guy, Travis Kelsey, bro. <laughs> Hey, don't do that, Chubby Travis Kelsey. Nah, yeah, man. Kelsey. Well, no, I'm just talking to NIL terms. We know what type of deals these are that, that everybody's getting in. It obviously, yeah. it's not a, a ton compared to that, but you know, just just the ability to just be in, in a football game is obviously really cool. And everybody had those green dreams mm-hmm. kind of growing up. Mm-hmm. So I, I think that's plenty of compensation. You think about how many guys the NCAA does have to pay. Yeah. That, that is still, that's yeah, a lot that's of people a lot to take of care of. So Tang, well, what what do you think your overall would have been though? Oh, man. Cool 88. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I was in high 70s. No. Maybe, maybe low 80s. The strength would have been up there. What would the strength have been? Strength would have been like, I would have I would have hoped to have been like 91. But if actually, they got a factor in this guy's squat and his, right. and his deadlift. If man. his squat's in I, there. I think yeah. people don't realize, you know, he, he he looks like a big, strong guy, but you don't actually realize how much weight he can put on his back. Thick lower half. Yeah, thick lower half. And I've seen him, <laughs> I've seen him take some weight up and down uh, many a times with Jeffrey Earl's you know, motivating him in his face, and, and Nick Dawkins gets it done in the weight room. So mm-hmm. I hope to see his strength rating uh, in the high 90s, actually. Wow, I, yeah, I would I appreciate, appreciate that. that. So I hope uh, NCA rating yeah, adjuster. Get Nick Dawkins' ratings right, man. Yeah, there you go. Cross thoughts, and what is your overall? Mm, my overall, I haven't done them yet, so I'm I'm being in the 60s. But at release, I'll say, like, mid-60s. But I'll give it to, like, August, September. I'll be in, like, the mid-70s. I'm giving it. Okay. If but you I'm, make I'm, me a 55 overall, the city of Valentine will feel it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's <laughs> wild. The city, the city of Valentine will not stand for that, man. They will not tolerate that. I'm just saying that right now. Protest. NCAA, EA Sports, be known. If you violate me on my rating, the city of Valentine will indeed ride for me. That's all I'll say. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, man. Well, oh. yeah. Uh, no, I was just going to say, just on the compensation, you know, I don't really know how it works from a, from a top down level. I don't know how that, uh, you know, that should be spread or what the fair payment is. But I do know that the entire generation unanimously has been clamoring for this game to come back. Free copy. It's been a decade. You get a free copy of it. Um, I can't think of anything more anticipated. Maybe GTA 6. Yeah. But, I mean, I've been waiting for that, that my whole life. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. So this is right there. What would your um, rating be? Yeah, so <laughs> that's the thing, right? No. So two things. Okay. No, no, no. Just give me the rating. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear an explanation. At my best, let's call it 2019, I think I'm a solid, I'm a solid 70. And here's why. 
<laughs> here's why, bro. Because the agility in the D-tackle room, people say what they want. I'm not the fastest guy, but if we had a D-tackle record board for the 20-yard shuttle, Aeneas Hawkins' name would be top three behind Akeem and Zane, and that's it. So off of that, I'm a 70 pass rush threat. Uh, you look at the potential. You look at the locker room presence. I'm a guy that you got to rank 70. Um, a couple things before I finish. I had somebody text me, uh, and they meant this very genuinely. So I didn't take it as disrespect. They were like, yo, you hear about the NCAA game? I'm like, yeah, I'm excited. They were like, hopefully they do an all-time Penn State team. Hashtag 27. I'm like, bro. Mm. I'm not going to be on the all-time Penn no. State team either way, gang. That's not going to go down. I, I don't know who else wore 27, but I'd have to think whatever 27 would make it over you. Whatever other 27. Whatever any other 27. My, my op would be Jaden Sider. He's the oh, other one. Mm, well. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, never mind. You win, actually. Anyway. Um, wow. <laughs> I just, wait, I'm sorry. I'm at, a, I'm at a loss. Okay, I talked I'm to trying me. to understand something. Yep. Listen up. Are you paying too much for health insurance? Are you tired of reading these long, extensive policies the health insurance companies put out? Meet Patrick Mowdy of Mowdy Health. He's a Penn State letterman. Patrick leverages years of experience to offer customized insurance solutions. Those solutions help you develop a coverage game plan to cover the safety and well-being of you and your family. Maudi Health, one broker, endless solutions. So in 2019, that was your, like your prime, you would say? At Penn State, that was okay. my best. Yeah, at, at Penn State, so not including high school, okay. No, if so, we include, okay, go ahead. So a 70 overall, a 70 grade and is and a, and a passing grade. Yep. How many reps in game yep. did you take at Penn State in 2019? Se 14. 14 in 2019. Okay, now were any of them against an FBS opponent? I I can't speak to that. How many plays? Did, <laughs> how many tackles did you have in that year? I had one. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about that? Right. Right. Exhibits a 70 overall. Right. Well, that was the thing. The way I was flashing. You know, were they <laughs> FCS opponents? Yeah. Yeah, but I had a pressure against Idaho. Okay, against the pressure. Idaho. Idaho. <laughs> I, I remember that game, watching that. Uh -huh. Everybody on the D-line had a sack except yep. for him. It was me. <laughs> but listen, they threw a holding flag on the one I almost had a sack on. So I legitimately wild. almost had a sack, and the dude horse kind of body slammed me. Mm. They threw the flag. I did the thing on the field. And I remember doing the thing and looking at the stands and realizing nobody was even at the game anymore because <laughs> we were up by 72. I'm like, I got no credit. Nobody saw that happen. But hey, it's all right. Hey, well, let's give him a rating at the same time. Tell me. So. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. 65. Wow. What do you say? 65. Okay, hey, 65. I gave you a 62. I thought it was, well, you what, did you say, say, what did you say? 57. <laughs> <laughs> 57. Didn't even go that way. Sorry. Isn't sorry. 55 the lowest you go, I think? Yeah, I think my yeah, toughest factor is higher. Your, 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 your my toughest factor was definitely up. You retired from football. I did. Wow. I did. Early. I did. I was after. I had like seven surgeries. <laughs> yeah. I, had, I had multiple major. Well, I don't know. We're talking a lot about ratings, and then guys are talking about locker room and, and grit and right. these, these categories that are actually not <laughs> exactly. on the ratings at all. <laughs> that kind of worries me as far as uh, the ratings we're going to receive here. Whatever, but man. I'm hoping good for the guys. And I saw Nick Singleton put out a I'm in, I'm in the game a tweet yeah. today. Hopefully, he's getting compensated well from EA Sports. And so. uh, yeah, some, some guys are getting some good looks. I put that. that up, and EA tweeted. And he deleted. <laughs> <laughs> so I deleted it. <laughs> and uh, they said, uh, "Do something like that again. You won't be in the game." So wow. I'm, I'm, I'm sending it out on social media right now. I'm tapped that's, out. That's crazy. Bro.